Ako. Hello my Sagittarian friends, Guiding Halo here, hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's coming in for you guys, mid-June money, finance, and career. What does Spirit want you to know to help elevate you into a new sense of being where your money and finances are? Or even your own personal value? Let's find out what Spirit wants you to know. Money, finance, career, mid-June. We have standstill. Oh my goodness. Everything's at a standstill. Darkest before the dawn. They need you to trust. They need you to realize that even these times of standstill are incredibly important. There's something I feel that you need to see. That you need to have a standstill. But it almost feels like you're stuck in the mud. You feel as though you're stuck in the mud in a circumstance. I wonder who needs to write a book. There's something about needing to write a book about the cycles of your life. Writing about your journeys, writing about what you've been through. I also wonder if there's some sort of, you've been stuck in the mud about how to move forward with it. Stuck, standstill. There's been a standstill for good reason. I almost feel like there's something you're missing. What am I missing? You're saying like, why do I have to wait? What's with the standstill? Even still, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's the energy I'm getting. Earth magic. So magic is being concocted for you. Well, it takes time to concoct a magic and you're heading into uncharted seas. I feel as though some of you are going to step into something that is your very own. Not something you're going to do for others, not something that's this or that, but something that is your very own. And I feel like you're coming into some sort of new divinity, new something. I don't know, I feel like it's very divine. And they want you to create Perhaps you've been in a standstill where your creative energy is concerned, maybe even depressed, but I feel as though there's a brand new beginning coming and to realize that you've got to take all that you are and move into the beautiful you. I feel as though someone feels like they're clogged down in their emotions, they're stuck in a heavy mind, a heavy heart here. There's earth magic. Something magical is about to happen for you based on who you are and where you go. Like walking. You're walking somewhere, going somewhere. Divinity. Realizing your own divinity. You've not been giving it credence, but you're about to be rejuvenated in a massive way. I'm going to read this card because I feel it's incredibly potent. Divinity. It's very important energy. Realizing the divinity of all things. Your own divine energy. You are a beautiful, wise, and loving soul who has braved the perils and difficulty of incarnation to be here on earth and in service to humanity. You uplift the energy and consciousness of others through the work that you do, whether you're aware of it or not. There are billions of souls residing on the planet at this time, yet only a small number of them are here to help humanity evolve to its fullest potential. And you are one of those souls who, are, who you are is a gift to the world. Even at the best of times, it can be difficult to remember this, especially when being human feels so real. Your connection to spirit is much stronger than you think. You are a living, breathing channel of the divine. It moves through you in all that you do. It flows through the words that you speak, even when you don't intend it to. In every situation, you are a transmitter of the higher cosmic energies and wisdom. It is those who have the greatest gifts who most often face the biggest challenges in life. Hold your head up and keep your faith. These challenges are the means to seeing and understanding the strength, wisdom, and compassion you hold within yourself. On a higher level, your soul chose to have a direct experience of the trials you have faced. Through each event, you have become better equipped and skilled so that you in turn could help others. You are a very special soul with an important part to play in the healing and betterment of the people on this planet. You are born to be in service to humanity through the divine gifts and knowledge you have carried with you into this lifetime. You are here to ignite the light in others to realize their own divinity. There's something about paying homage to um, how, how, who, why, what it is that you feel is meant to be in your life, for your life, 
and through your life. That's what I'm getting. There's something about who, what, where, when, why. And I believe that you're going to come into those answers about your own divinity, why you've been through the things you've been through. Ooh, my goodness, the cards are just crazy energy for you guys today. They all just fell on the floor. You're coming out of a time of sadness, a time of manipulation, coming out of a time. It's like you're having an epiphany. It's like, and it's going to bring absolute warmth and joy and beauty. But why the standstill is what I hear you asking. It's like you get this thing and it's supposed to be a new start, but then there's a standstill. You're being held back to before you're launched into this new cycle so that you realize that there's a reason. Yeah, six of wands is absolutely a victory. Being held back is absolutely a victory. There's some sort of standstill that the divine is creating. Something, a learning process, a growth, a growing happening for you here. I feel as though someone's being broken free from this standstill as well. There's some sort of magic that's happening behind the scenes that you don't see. You do not see it yet. And I think that you feel very bogged down right now. Six of Wands, a victory is coming. Page of Pentacles, good news about money. Uh, earth magic, you could be dealing with an earth sign, a younger earth sign. Someone could be moving. Uh, movement concerning where you live on the earth, anything you're creating in the 3D world. Movement. Creating movement. Earth magic. Fireflies. Fireflies are important to somebody here, but there's some sort of dream that you've wished upon. It's a new start. I wonder if there's concerns around a new start because of lack of funding or wondering if it's actually supposed to it's meant to be divinity it's going to take great strength for you to realize all of what i read in that card your own divinity why the divine does what they do i'm going to pull one more card for this divinity page of swords okay so it's going to be great take great strength to overcome your mind it's like you've got to step into creative energy and right now you're bogged down in your mind which is causing a stabbing effect on your emotions I feel as though you're taking an incredibly logical approach to things, and that might be the wrong way to go. I think you need to get more passionate, more excited, maybe in creating, there's something about creating passionately here, creating something very passionately. Challenging information coming in that's going to take great strength to manage. Taming an inner beast of fear and realizing why you are here on this planet. Why did the divine bring you here? There's something that's been a standstill. You're going to look back on it. It's going to be a massive victory for you. Thank God that didn't happen. Oh my gosh. It's like a standstill until you spiral into your power. Confidence. Be bold. Rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. What did I say about getting more passionate? Getting passionate. Feel the fire in your soul. Create the change. Changing. This is like changing your whole life. What you thought you were going to be doing. What you felt you were going to be doing. Change it. Change it. Well, I don't know how to change it, Halo, because this is what I do. It's what I know how to do. Something is going to require you. It's like the divine's reaching down, pulling you out of the mud. And it's going to take a necessity or you're going to have to be very bold about how you move forward. Some of you, it's about standing up for yourself. Page of Pentacles, Earth Magic. We have Divinity Strength. Page of Swords, which is ingenious ideas. Rebirth. No matter what happens, you can find new wings. Rise from the past. Accept the positive change that's coming. So something very positive is coming here. And I think there's a lot of apprehension, uh, concern, fear as to whether you have what it takes to make something happen. The Divine's trying to, to reprogram your mind and your emotions right now. To head you into a place they need you to be confident they need you to trust them they need you to understand your own divinity that you can do it yes it's going to take strength yes your mind is going to penetrate you and create issues for you here and there but you've got what it takes to do this you're absolutely coming out of this standstill and it is a victory 
It's creating earth magic for you, bringing this beautiful divinity into your awareness. That's what I'm getting. Dearest you, you have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfill. But first, you need to know that destiny isn't a destination. You don't arrive at some special place where, poof, you're perfect and happy all the time. It's about establishing and firming up a commitment to a certain experience, whatever form that takes. Your soul knows what you need to experience. Your destiny is to be present to all of life's adventures. To discover your talents and full potential through allowing inspiration to lead you and to risk standing apart from the crowd to listen to your soul. You are special as much as you are also paradoxically one with the world, individual yet part of a greater whole. Both truths have led you to this moment where we are saying you are on the right track, even if your ego self doesn't see that. Listen to your soul, check in with spirit, and keep going. Spirit loves you, life loves you. And we love you. I hope this resonates for you. I love you guys. Blessings to you.